I'm Marie Liberati, Gourmand World Award-winning author of the Basic Art of Italian Cooking book series and blog. And you know, Italian cooking is really an art. And today, hopefully, you're going to see it and taste it at home. One of my favorite ingredients in the Italian culinary world is ricotta cheese. I love to eat it plain, but I also like to use it in my cooking in entrees and appetizers and desserts. And today I am making a wild for salmon, sockeye salmon, ricotta strudel. Okay, so first for strudel, any strudel has a great dough. That's a, a really important part of the recipe. So I have a sheet of puff pastry here. If you'd like to make your own dough, you can find a recipe at marialiberati.com. If not, if you're in a pinch, you can find a sheet of puff pastry at most stores in the frozen food section. So first, we're going to finely chop two leeks. We're going to finely chop the leeks and place the butter and olive oil in a saute pan. Heat on low, then place the chopped leeks in the pan for 15 minutes and saute on low heat. Now it's time for the star of the show, Alaskan sockeye salmon, wild caught and from wild for salmon. Now it's really important for your health and taste as well to only use wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon. So let's get back to cooking. Heat a tablespoon of olive oil in the saute pan, place the salmon in skin side down, sear the salmon until it's pink and flaky. And once it's cooked, you're going to transfer it in a bowl, just like I did here, and flake it. Right now, we need to preheat our oven to 430 degrees. So while we're waiting for the leeks again, we have our sockeye salmon from wildforsalmon.com ready. We're waiting for our leeks to get a little golden brown and kind of caramelized with the butter and olive oil. We're going to chop dill, and I love fresh dill in any, really any seafood, but with sockeye salmon, it really enhances the flavor. Now we're placing the flaked Alaskan sockeye salmon in with the leeks, and we're gonna saute that for about two minutes. And now we're adding in cognac. That's correct, cognac. So imagine it's a buttery, cognac-y filling. It's really, really delicious. So we're adding in the cognac and we're going to let the alcohol burn off. And once it does, we are adding in our chopped dill. Okay, so now the salmon is ready. The salmon and leek and butter mixture is all ready. The, the aroma is great. You can smell all those flavors. We're going to turn it off, turn off the heat, and transfer the salmon mixture to a bowl. Now we're adding in uh, ricotta. So this is about a half a cup of ricotta, and one egg, and our Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. It's about five tablespoons. And you're just going to blend this mixture all together. One of my tips for you, when, when I make any type of strudel, be it an apple strudel or a fruit strudel or even the ricotta salmon strudel, before I put in my filling, I put in about a tablespoon of breadcrumbs on the puff pastry sheet and that will absorb any moisture from your filling so it doesn't make your dough mushy. When you're filling the puff pastry, you want to leave about a two inch border on both sides. And we're going to put the filling right where the breadcrumbs are. You can also add fresh herbs to the breadcrumbs if you'd like. Okay, so now we're ready to roll our strudel and parchment paper underneath because that's gonna help you roll the strudel. So you're gonna use that. Actually, first we have to brush both sides with egg white and that will help the strudel stay together. And here we go, we're rolling our strudel. 
So now we're going to fold up the ends of the strudel. You want to seal both ends of the strudel so that it doesn't open up in cooking. And now it's time for the egg yolk. So we want to, want to put caraway seeds on top. I thought the caraway seeds added a really interesting flavor to this dish. So first, to get them to stick on the top, you're going to brush some egg yolk with a pastry brush. It also makes it golden and shiny on top. And now it's time for the last, and that is sprinkling of the caraway seeds on top. And we have about two teaspoons of caraway seeds that I'm going to sprinkle on top. Now we're ready to place our strudel in its baking pan and get it ready to cook in the oven. So remember that parchment paper again. I like to line a lot of my pans with parchment paper before I cook items like cookies or baked goods in them. The oven's preheated and it's ready to go. So let's put in our strudel. I can't wait to taste it. I'm sure you can either. And there it is, our Alaskan sockeye salmon ricotta strudel. And remember, when you make a dish like this with salmon, please always remember to use wild caught sockeye salmon, especially for this dish. And we, again, for this dish, I used Alaskan sockeye salmon from wildforsalmon.com. It's a company that's focused on sustainably harvested seafood and Alaskan sockeye salmon from Bristol Bay, Alaska. Until next time, I'm Chef Maria Liberati. Please join me for more great dishes using this Alaskan sockeye salmon from wildforsalmon.com, including baked salmon crepes with bechamel sauce and fettuccine with lemoncello sauce ragu.